awkward button here. All right. <clears throat> So I am here today with Miss Mary Francis. She was one of my clients that was referred to me uh, by another client, but also my financial advisor, Mr. Nico Quinn. Uh, thank you, buddy. Um, but Mary Francis, if you would just kind of give me a rundown on the process when we first met, how long everything took, um, pros, cons, and all sure. the all of the above. Well, we met back in 2018. Through Mr. Nico Gwynn, who happens to be my financial planner also, he highly recommended Chris, and um, I did call. We had a great first meeting. I liked everything he had to say. However, I just could not push the button to do it. Right. I'm not you just sure weren't ready. why, but I couldn't do it. Yep. So then a few more years passed, and all of a sudden, I think it was maybe February of 2023, Mm -hmm. Well, let's just say COVID didn't help the matter. Either. No, that that definitely put some wrenches in the yeah. web. That put two years on hold. Mm -hmm. So I got I I contacted Chris, I believe in February 2023. Mm -hmm. And he came over. We walked through the house. We had a great chat. He answered all of my questions. And I had a lot of them. And we talked about what we would do to enhance the home what he saw as things that we need to needed to fix to make it even more marketable than it already was. So I thought about it for a while, probably within a short period of time, I called Chris and said, I'm ready to do it. Mm -hmm. And he took it from there. And we went um, with the, uh, the fix and list program on this one, right? Yes, the fix and list program. Uh, within a very short period of time, Jose the foreman came by with some of the other gentlemen that do the work. We went through each room of the house meticulously, talked about what needed to be done, what we didn't need to do, how we would make the improvements, what the cost factor would be. And then um, Chris and Jose presented the plan along with all the cost figures, which I thought was right on target. And the next thing I know, the construction crews were there. And that was such an easy process, no matter whether it was the painters who were excellent, the carpet, the people who came to put the carpet down, super, the general construction gentleman, the plumber, everybody worked above and beyond 100%. They were so nice to talk to to speak with. Um, I would go off to work. My dog would be in the house. Um, they love the dog, dog also. I, I, I was afraid maybe already. I'd come home and the dog would be gone. <laughs> um, but it was such a seamless. Yeah. Well, she's, she's downstairs. I didn't want to get her in the video. I should have maybe. Um, but everything went off without a hitch. The workers showed up when they were expected to show up. They did a full day's work. They left the house spotless um, when they when they left for the day. And if there was going to be a little delay, I was told ahead of time so that I could plan accordingly. And before you know it, everything was done. I have to really give kudos to the uh, women who came in to do the deep cleaning because the house was dusty from painting and various projects that were done. They probably worked, there were three of them, they probably worked about three hours. And when they left, that house was spick and span clean. Yep. Everything was just, I didn't even want to walk on the carpeting. <laughs> so our, our total construction process time length, that was only like what, three to four weeks? Oh, I think it was three. I don't think it was even four. The only delay, and I don't even know if we call it a delay, was waiting for the windows to come yeah, in. Yeah, I said that that was our biggest holdback was just waiting on the windows that we had ordered just for them to be shipped right. in. That um, was it. Yeah. Everything else, the carpeting was on time. Mm -hmm. The painting was done first. Well, then after the windows went in, they had to repaint around the windows. Right, and just that, come back and touch everything up. Yeah, that didn't take any time. Um. No, I think the windows probably was the only thing. 
Okay. We're good. It held us back a little tiny bit, but we were right on target. I have to say, Chris said the goal, we're going to get this house ready by the end of April. And I just thought, here it is, the beginning of March, middle of March came. And I thought, we're not going to get it done by the middle, by the end of April. It was done by the end of April. It was listed on March 4th, or I'm sorry, May 4th. Yep. And then we and were- the only, under, Right. And the only thing we had to do was we had to, um, after everything was done, get the video done. And yep. The, the pictures and the video tour. Taken. Yep. And once yeah. all that was done, we hit the market. And then what did it take? 24 hours? 24 hours. There were uh, nine showings. Mm -hmm. And Chris sent me a text very, very early Saturday morning, which I didn't answer because it was that early yeah. and said, we we have an offer. I, I was too excited. I wanted to wait, but I was too excited. <laughs> right. Um, and I, you know, I thought he was kidding in, in some way because I thought, wait, it's only been a day. Who does that within a day? Right. And it was a spectacular offer more than I ever thought we would ever get with no contingencies and no inspection. I was beyond happy. The buyer was beyond happy. It was a win, win, win on all accounts. Yeah. And right before we went on, your neighbors went on and under contract pretty quickly as well. I think that took like a weekend Yes. Uh, before they chose an offer. And yes. luckily they went before us because we found out that their appraisal came in very low, um, yes. which affected our list price. But then thankfully it did not finally affect our sale price because mm -hmm. of the way we negotiated the terms of the deal. Mm -hmm. And what did we ended up selling your house for? $525,000. And we listed at $475,000. Um, I would love to take all the credit for that, but the way you took care of the home, the updates we did, and honestly, just overall market conditions um, played a large part into that. Um, you gave us a great canvas to work with, so that certainly made things easier. Um, the ease of showing, of course, as well. Right. But I mean, you you thought of things to do to make the house more um, marketable and more attractive that I didn't even think about. But so it was putting all of your expertise and Jose and all of the guys who came over to do the work. Mm -hmm. That was just such a icing on the cake, let's say. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it takes a full team to uh, to do stuff like this. But right. luckily, I've been able to assemble a, a phenomenal team. And mm -hmm. thankfully, we're able to right. provide our sellers with these type of results. And I also have to give kudos to um, Kosi. Uh-huh. Your appliance guy, as yep. we call he's him. He's awesome. I think because he's supposed to be he here. He's supposed to be at my house in about an hour to fix something. Okay. <laughs> well, I just want to say that there was somewhat of a mix up with the first company where we were going to use the stove and oven for two times, the glass smashed on both. So then Kosi and I regrouped and we went with a different um, store. Mm -hmm. They delivered it on a Saturday. Kosi doesn't work on Saturdays, no. but he knew how important it was to get that stove and microwave in place so that yep. photos could be taken early that week. Yep. He dropped everything he was doing on Saturday, made the trip all the way over to Montgomery Village and spent probably well over an hour getting everything hooked up for the gas stove yep. and the microwave and was the most charming gentleman to speak with. Fantastic. Yeah. No, we, we try to make as many good relationships as we can with a lot of contractors yeah. and service people um, because we're able to send them a lot of business. They provide a lot of that same service yeah. of, you know, Hey, I don't work on Saturdays, but in this case I do. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I'm sure he had other things he course. could have been doing that Saturday afternoon, yep. but he's like, I'll come over. And the other thing I've, um, everyone was asking me, some of the neighbors, well, who did you call for this? And who did you call for the plumber? And who did you call for the painters? Let me know. And wasn't that tedious? I said, I didn't make any calls. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to because Chris would say, Jose would call and say that the painters are showing up at eight o'clock on this date. The two people I called were Kosi and I called um, the woman who owns the cleaning company. Those are the only two phone yep, calls I had to make for appointments. Yep. And outside yeah. of that, we just took care of the rest of it for you. Absolutely. It was 
seamless and painless because I was part of me. I think why I didn't want to move was I was dreading all of the um, work that was going to have to be done and finding people and making appointments and people not showing up when they're supposed to as promised, but that didn't happen here at all. Well, good. Well, I am glad we were able to uh, make that all work out for you. And now you just told me right before we jumped on here that you're buying a new house. You're under contract now. I am. Up in Ohio. I love it. I right. Love it. Up in Lakewood, Ohio. Right. Um, I am actually looking out to Lake Erie right now. Okay. Yeah. Very so, good. Yeah. So a new, a new adventure begins. One has closed. Another one is going to begin. I like it. Yeah. But well, thank, thank you, you to you, Chris, and your team, because it was it was very, very easy. Okay. I really had no stress. Well, good. I mean, I really and that's, did, that's I, the ultimate goal. My job and my goal ultimately is to make everything as stress-free as possible, because right. this process is stress-free. It is. When you don't do it every day. Right. And I didn't go to bed at night worried. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I never had one of those evenings. And I also want to say that no matter when I contacted you by text, you responded very, very quickly, answered my questions, put me at ease. And that just made the process go so much better. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Well, thank you. Well, thank, thank you again so much for your time and obviously the opportunity to help sell your home. Uh, help you get moved in next, back, up, uh, back up north with family. Oh, yes. Very important. If you're, and, hey, and if you come to Cleveland, give me a call. We'll go out to have lunch. Oh, absolutely. No, I, I buy a lot in, uh, in Ohio on my investment side of stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Perfect. Um, well, thank okay. you again. And uh, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Take care. Bye See bye, you. Chris. Bye. Bye.